Welcome back to another awesome review. Mike is here with me, and today we're talking about Solo Alchemy. I had a wonderful opportunity to meet Trevor and his team at um, CBD Expo back in December 2019 um, when I was in San Diego, and I got this 5,000 milligram bottle from the company um, to do a review. And at the time, I was curious what the word spagyric was. It basically means alchemy. Um, it's taking something apart and putting it back together. And in the process, just quickly, is they burn, you know, not the flower, but the rest of the parts of the plant to extract the minerals and then add it back into the oils. And so it's a very, very wonderful product. I know Mike um, loves it as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I met with them too at a, at a different convention. I must say that they were some of the best dressed, most well-informed, um, educated, willing to share knowledge, like one of the best companies at the trade show. So that was super cool. And back to the, the alchemy, following this um, review, we're going to post an interview we did with Trevor from Solar Alchemy. He'll go over the whole scientific process because they extract all kinds of stuff from that. And it's, it's, it's a really neat process. So stay tuned after the interview or the review for the interview. <laughs> nice, I like that. And so we're just going to go briefly uh, into what we have. I've tried it. I love it. Um, this is 5,000 milligrams in, um, right, in 50 mLs. I mean, it's 250 right now. And that which is about 1,000 milligrams for 50 bucks. Which I know Mike says about five cents um, a milligram CBD, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you may think it's expensive, but when you look at as a whole, as five thousand milligrams, right? This is potent stuff right here. It has all the extra minerals from the process, the spagyric process. So it's actually better than ninety percent of oils out there. And I, I've tasted it. You can really taste the burnt flavor. And so because you guys know I like um, different things from regular oils. This really stands out for me. And I love the fact that they have um, 100 milligram, 15 mLs, right? They have different um, products. This one right has relief. It's really great for nighttime. Um, and real quickly, I love the boxes, right? He has a QR code on the bottom. He has um, the batch number, the date, expression date, the bottle number. So these guys go really, really well on this bottle right here. And then also on the inside, he has a bit of terpene information. So it has, tells you what's in here. He has Mersin. 4.2 milligrams, Borneo, 3.3 milligrams, and 5.6 milligrams of other um, terpenes. And then he says the profile, which is hops and timing. And then on the list um, side, he has, um, tells you what um, terpenes are really good for um, issues like analgistic, anti anxiety, antibacterial. So the education is on point, man. I know Mike really liked the education with this company. Yeah, it's, it's you get the product and the education all in one package, which is super cool. So I know you mentioned there's the 5,000. There's also um, uh, nine other blends that they make in the smaller bottle. That's the ones with the different terpenes in it to address different, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say conditions, but different, different things that you may need. So one of them is called Kush, Cleanse, Calm, Relief, Rest, Fortify, Euphoria, Soothe, and passion and those will all have a different unique terpene blend to match up with that that keyword so that's pretty neat um in the big 5000 bottle it's just um i'm not going to use the word basic because it's not a basic oil it's it's actually a very <laughs> full oil but um it's it's not going to be tailored to any one kind of um use it's a it's a multi-purpose oil so correct and it's, it's, it's really good and so um for the price point uh what you're paying for the value is really there, so I highly recommend it. If you um, get it, let us know um, what you think about it, about it in the comments. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to just listen to the interview. I hope you guys really appreciate the interview. And I'm um, just thank you guys again for um, supporting us. Any last thing, Mike? I was just gonna say, this is probably my number one favorite oil that I've used to date. I think the bioavailability, the feeling I get from it, because all those other items and, and compounds are reintroduced into it um, later on, which you hear after this about that process. I love it. I like the taste of it. I can tell there's all kinds of good stuff in it. It's not just like a little um, non-flavored coconut oil or just a hempy taste. Um, you can taste, if you kind of hold on to your tongue and then swish around your mouth, you can taste different plant compounds, which lets me know like this stuff is probably really good for you. So I love it. Number one oil to date. I just, I love it, so. Yep, appreciate you guys and um, enjoy the interview. And then let us know. Um, please like, share, and leave your comments um, below. We appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys.
Thank you everyone for um, joining us today. We here with Trevor Polinski from Solar Alchemy. I've had the opportunity to meet his team back in December in um, San Diego. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to interview Trevor and learn more about the company. Mike and I have both tried the products. I've tried the relief that I use for nighttime. And then I have the regular um, 5,000 milligrams I've been using for the past couple of months for the daytime. So um, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Trevor, for being here. Yeah, and I just wanted to throw on quick too. Um, I met Trevor. Thanks for having me. Trevor and a little bit of his team back at one of the um, CBD expos here in Vegas. And I just wanted to comment that they actually came across a lot more professional than 90% of the companies out there. So thank you guys for taking the industry very seriously and not just trying to make a quick buck in it. Hey, Mike, I really appreciate that. You know, um, fortunately, I think there's a lot of bad actors in the space. So we try to definitely uh, maintain a stance of integrity. Um, we definitely stand behind our products and we want the industry to be seen as professional, especially being an emerging market. I think there's a lot of uh, stigma against the hemp and cannabis folks. So it's that much more important that we represent ourselves appropriately. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And that, that's really wonderful. I know for me, when I first saw the product, it was different from everything else, especially the bottle. And so I have to say just kudos for just being different from everybody else. And um, I'm excited to just talk about Spigeric and Beyond Full Spectrum. So can you just tell us a little more the background on the company, how they got started? Um, this way the audience can have a better understanding of where you come from. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, a little bit about me, um, you know, my background before I was in the hemp sector, I worked for a couple of different startups in the organic food industry. Um, and it was great experience for, you know, how to scale an organization and commitment to quality, um, you know, sourcing innovative ingredients and really maintaining a, a health conscious focus uh, mission with the brand. Um, and so when the the farm bill passed, I took that experience and pivoted and um, I started what is now Solar Alchemy. Um, so we were just really excited to bring something fresh to the industry. You know, it seems like there's so many uh, isolates and more just kind of uh, lifestyle brands and a lot of uh, mass produced ingredients. And so we were really excited to take a more uh, small batch kind of craft approach with it, as well as focus on different innovative processes that we can make these compounds uh, more effective, more bioavailable, and try to do something different and stand out, you know, whether it's through our branding or, uh, you know, cool uh, square bottles and magnetic boxes, but also really our, our dedication to quality with the products that we're producing. Now, for the, the crowd that isn't familiar with your brand, can you tell them a little bit what kind of products you produce? Um, what's your niche in the market? Absolutely. Um, so we utilize an ancient alchemical practice known as spagyrics, uh, which is actually a, a Greek phrase, which means to separate and recombine. Uh, so essentially, the ancient herbalists and alchemists figured out that if you extract plants in certain ways and then recombine the parts together in a specific fashion, they synergize and the different compounds enhance each other. Um, so one of my favorite quotes that relates to this is the further you move towards purity, the further you move away from synergy. So we're focusing on the synergy of whole plant extracts, you know, the combination of the terpenes and flavonoids and salts and esters with the CBD itself makes it a, a much more effective uh, solution. Oh, nice. I have a, I have a quick question. Um, why is the importance of having the minerals and salts added back into the process? Um, can you go in a little more detail just briefly? Absolutely. You know, the, the salts and minerals of the hemp plant are some of the most medicinal compounds present when they're paired with the cannabinoids. And most people don't realize this. Um, you know, most of the other products in the industry, they actually just throw away the salts. They consider them worthless. Um, so we 
really utilize them effectively because it helps with the delivery system, uh, essentially having the uh, electrolyte present of the mineral salts. It helps the CBD pierce the cell membrane walls and you get a much more uh, bioavailable product in the long run. Um, on top of that, the uh, high alkalinity of the mineral salts actually reacts with the acidity of the cannabinoids and it converts some of those acids into esters, which are very similar to terpenes and have their own medicinal effects. On top of neutralizing the pH of the solution, which makes it more easily uh, digested by your body. All right, I have a quick question. So in your process, how will I phrase this? This process, like what is the time frame to make this compared to a traditional, just uh, let's say a traditional CO2 extracted oil? Now, like time-wise, I'm, I'm assuming this process takes a lot longer to do. If you can go into a little bit more detail about how it's the time frame or what, what makes it so much harder to do. I know you talked about the difference, but it, it seems like there'd be a lot more steps um, than the average person hears. You get some hemp, you throw it, you know, you, you cure it, you, you put it in your ethanol, your CO2 extraction methods, blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot more steps I'm guessing involved in this. So time-wise, can you give us an idea how long it would take to make like a, a batch of from start to finish once you have the the hemp flour let's say you already have the hemp flour what how long does the process take to to create one of your products totally um so like with the uh, traditional ethanol or co2 extraction you're only looking at a couple hours you know you blast the cannabinoids out of there you decarb it and you know winterize it you're pretty much good to go with our process, you're realistically looking at more like a couple weeks. Um, it's very extensive. There's multiple different phases of extraction, some with solvents, some without. We have no waste product. Uh, there's no leftover biomass. We use the whole plant. Um, it's a very timely, uh, tedious, uh, extensive, complicated process uh, to do it in the manner that we do. Um, and the results really show when you try our product. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you. Um, I'm curious, when it comes to traditional oil, is there, there's a, a certain period that it's um, available to use, so like expiration date. Um, does your product last longer than the average CBD bottle um, because of the, the type of ingredients that there is, or is it on average the same? As far as like shelf life and stability? Yes. Yeah, so the, the the mineral salt present presence, which is mostly potassium carbonate, um, is going to help with uh, balancing the pH, and it holds an ionic charge. So I, I would say that our products have a longer shelf life uh, than other traditional extraction processes. All right, hey, I had a quick question. I think you elaborated on it a little bit before, but you guys use the term... And for you folks listening at home, we're going to be showing the panels on the box and things like that, but there's a term used beyond full spectrum. How did you come up with that term and what does it mean to you to you personally? I mean, it, we haven't heard that term before in the industry on products and we just like to know kind of a little history behind that and yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, totally. So that was something we came up with in house. Um, you know, it's there's seems to be such a lack of standardization with uh, phrasing of how products are labeled in the industry. I mean, you're going to see a CO2 extract product on the shelf labeled full spectrum, and you're going to see an ethanol product on the shelf labeled full spectrum. But the CO2 product doesn't have any chlorophyll. So how can it be a full spectrum product if it doesn't have, you know, some of the medicinal compounds of the plant. Um, you know, so I think that, you know, at least with an ethanol, you know, quote unquote, full spectrum product, you're at least getting the chlorophyll in there, but that's not really a full spectrum product because you're missing out on the hemp minerals present, which are highly medicinal. So that's where we came up with beyond full spectrum is because we're actually 
including those mineral salts that greatly increase the efficacy of the final product. Um, and not even just the mineral salts themselves, but the reactions that occur with the cannabinoid acids when they're transformed into esters, um, there's, there's no other way to create a hemp product that has esters in it. And so the mineral reactions with the cannabinoids acids that form the esters is really what makes solar alchemy products beyond full spectrum. So it, does that have to do when it, when you mentioned previously when we spoke about the soul, the spirit, and the body? Is that encompassing the the beyond full spectrum when you, when you um, talk to people? Is that where you you get all that together? Yeah. So it's um, it's really interesting. You know, the the ancient alchemists had these you know these different words that they would use for these processes and and metaphors. You know, for the reactions occurring with the different plant compounds. And so they considered the uh, the spirit of the plant was considered the alcohol. Um, the body of the plant was considered the mineral salts, and the soul of the plant was considered the oils. And so the cannabinoids are oils, so that's the soul of the plant. The spirit, um, you know, the organic cane alcohol that we use as our primary solvent during our first phase of extraction could be considered the spirit of the plant. And then the mineral salts are considered the body. And interesting enough, if you just add the mineral salts into the cannabinoid oils, the reaction doesn't occur. You have to actually leave a little bit of the organic cane ethanol in the solution that acts as a catalyst that helps the mineral salts transform the cannabinoid acids into esters. And so, you know, as the ancient alchemists would put it, it was kind of like a, a resurrection, so to speak. It was a, a reintroduction of body, spirit, and soul. And when you reintroduce those together at the same time, esters are formed. Um, you know, so we're less uh, philosophical uh, with these phrases nowadays. We just consider them oils, salts, and alcohol. You know, we have more kind of chemical uh, compound knowledge of what we're looking at under a microscope, but this was the story uh, that they told back in the day. And interesting enough, you know, there are chemical reactions occurring when spirit, soul, and body were reintroduced in the plant kingdom. All right. Hey, I just wanted to quickly comment how you mentioned about the beyond full spectrum that you're absolutely right. Like some of the most effective oils I've used and other people have used are, and this is just a standard full spectrum product, but an ethanol extraction, you can see it's darker. You can see the chlorophyll. And my thoughts on that are too, the whole plant is made for a purpose. So when you start breaking it down and only using something and then nano fine it and altering the cell wall and, and doing all kinds of crazy stuff that they do with like nano or even isolating that it's, you know, my opinion is the plant was put together with all the stuff in it for a reason. And you guys are, you know, putting it back together like a, for a reason. So my one question on that is, have you found through personal experience or through your customers or, or any other source that the effects of your product being beyond full spectrum and, you know, containing a lot more compounds and components, are there other effects that people can see versus using just a standard, you know, regular full spectrum or CBD isolate product. And I was just wondering that because you say you're reintroducing, you know, some of the salts and minerals and stuff, if there was anything that may help with um, dehydration, just any other effects that you have heard of or seen with your product. You know, uh, we've gotten reviews back from clients all over the world with uh, a plethora of health benefits um, that they've claimed they've experienced. Um, just for, uh, you know, the sake of the FDA, I, I don't want to make claims, um, you know, uh, documented about what, you know, oh, this product nice. can do for you. But it makes a lot of sense that our, our products work better because it's essentially like taking a whole plant multivitamin with your CBD rather than just your CBD by itself. All right. No. Yeah. I completely forgot the FDA is still the way they are today but yeah so i guess we can maybe 
<laughs> compare it to taking a, a centrum synthetic made vitamin versus like a whole plant organic food food sourced type thing so there are we get what you're saying i'm sure the crowd does too and uh sorry for posing that kind of <laughs> controversial question i keep forgetting that you know this industry is still in its uh starting stages and we have to be very careful so we don't hurt it but uh good answer thank you <laughs> that was awesome um so thanks Mike. what i tell our, our clients is that you know i can't promise that cbd is going to work for you or that it's going to do what you want it to but what i can promise is that if there's any cbd that's going to it's going to be our product i 100 percent agree with that i love it i have a quick um so most people in the industry either use MCT oil or hemp seed oil or even avocado oil. Um, and uh, doing the research on your, your company, I see you use MCT oil. Can you go in, uh, just briefly um, how using MCT oil is a little better when mixing with your ingredients compared to um, another carrier? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we use MCT, we use organic MCT coconut oil because it's the standard in the industry. Um, it's what people are programmed to look for. Uh, there is science showing that the shorter chain triglycerides are more easily able to be absorbed by the body and can actually bypass the liver in certain cases. Um, so that research suggests that uh, MCT coconut oil uh, is one of the leading carriers uh, for delivery systems currently. And if I can just add in something quick too, some people get concerned that there's too much coconut oil is not good for you, but your products are pretty, um, what's the word to use? I'm going to use the word potent, but what I really mean is like in concentrated, concentrated yes, thank you. It's very concentrated. So like in a, most people are used to seeing like a 30 milliliter one ounce bottle containing, you know, 500 milligrams, some even 250, some more, some less, but yours seems to have a standard of around 1500 milligrams per 15 milliliters and 0.5 fluid ounces. So very concentrated. So, you know, if anybody's ever concerned with any product with the coconut oil levels, this, this is one you have no need to worry about. It's, it's very concentrated. You're just getting enough to probably do what it needs to do. So. Yeah, we, we try to make it as easy on the consumer as possible. You know, the companies out there that have like, you know, a thousand milligrams in a 30 mil bottle or, you know, even less 500, 250. It's like, you know, you almost have to gargle a half ounce of coconut oil in your mouth just to get a proper dose of the cannabinoids. And so we try to make our products as potent and concentrated as possible so that your serving size is as small as possible. Yeah. And on that topic too, a lot of people don't understand, which I'm so happy you guys do that, that if you're not used to an MCT oil, um, a lot of people using paleo diets and different things and they consume coconut oil, MCT oil, but it takes a while for your body to get used to that. So if you're having like, you buy a bottle of 250, just regular CBD and you're taking like three dropper fulls, I mean, that's going to fill up between a teaspoon and a tablespoon of oil. And if your body's not used to that, Sometimes there's gastrointestinal issues until you build up a tolerance. So with your product, it seems like, you know, for the most part, there's no need to really worry about that. So that's, that's great. Yep. That's uh that's why we do it that way. You know, I've uh, definitely experienced myself, um, you know, a few years back, I, I went on a ketogenic diet for a while. And if you're familiar with keto, you are practically guzzling uh, MCT coconut oil. And I remember the first couple of weeks, I definitely had some gastrointestinal issues myself until my body was able to adjust. And I've heard that from, you know, other consumers of other CBD products that, you know, when they tried it, they were definitely experiencing some discomfort. So we do everything we can to minimize the uh, adjustment or transitional period when people are introducing uh, new compounds to their body. I love it. I love it. Um, thank you so much. Um, the, the last question that I, I have is, can you tell us, um, I mean, I'm, this is more for me. I'm more curious. Um, the different varieties that, of, that you have when it comes to the different tripping blends, was there a thought process behind that? Um, I'm very impressed with your labels, your, your, your packaging has all the information on the terpenes in here. 
And so um, I'm just curious on the thought process behind that. Absolutely. And so um, if you look at the packaging on the inside flap, um, we sourced a study uh, called Understanding Medical Cannabis, where uh, an independent research group actually broke down the different effects of the different terpenes present in hemp and cannabis strains. Why is one strain better for sleep? Well, one strain is better for anxiety or one strain might be better for pain. And they, they did a, a huge survey and then basically categorized the ma majority uh, terpene compounds present in the different strains that they found a pattern of eliciting specific effects. And so then they listed which terpenes they believed uh, most significantly contributed towards eliciting specific effects. Um, so we took that info and we used that to formulate our different specialized blends. Um, so I don't have the product in front of me right now, but if you look on the inside flap, it breaks down the individual terpene profile of each different blend. You know, why Soothe is good for inflammation or uh, euphoria uh, may be better for depression and things like that. And so we try to educate the consumer um, as well as why the product is working on top of trying to provide the best quality products that we can. All right, and I just had one more question. Um, have you had any of your consumers or customers by chance, I guess what I'm getting at is a lot of people will share their products or their CBD products with their pets, you know. Um, have you experienced any feedback on that or have you used that I'm, I'm just just so the listeners know like can we or can we not use with this with our pets either way a, a, any input on that or any um comments or feedback you've ever gotten back yeah you know our, our totally um you know this uh this story might get me in trouble, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Um, so one of our uh, retailers in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, had a, a client come in and they had a dog that was not doing well. Um, so they came in, they said, you know, um, the, do it, the dog's not happy. We're going to have to put it down. We're just looking for something that's going to ease its pain for the next couple of weeks until we can take them in and, you know, the, the family can say goodbye or whatever. So they, they purchased one of our products. Customer left. And they came back two weeks later and they talked to the shop owner and they said, you're not going to believe what happened. Uh, Spot is running around the yard. He's never been so happy in his life. He's doing so well. We're not putting the dog down anymore. Um, so that is one experience um, and review that we've received as far as how effective our products were for pets. All right. Very good. Um, yeah. And I'll just you know, comment on that too. I, I have not necessarily your products, but I have seen um, hemp based CBD products. And since I am not a company and not making any statements on behalf of solar alchemy, this is my own personal story that with CBD and hemp products, I have seen within a month dogs that have had tumors and, and cancer, you know, in their chest x-rays where you can see it um, disappear while using hemp products. So we can take that as we may, but um, Bevan, did you have any more questions for for Trevor? No, the last thing is, uh, I just want to say thank you so much, Trevor, for um, taking the time out to talk to us. Um, I look forward to um, showing the, the community all the, the content and the great things that you, you and your team are doing. Um, so finally, can you just let us know how they can find you, where on social media, uh, your website, um, so that uh, they can buy your products? Absolutely. Uh, we are on social media um, at Solar Alchemy. Uh, you can find our website at www.solaralchemy.club, and that's spelled S O U L A R. Um, you can email me at Trevor, T R E V O R, at thehealthclub.world. Um, so feel free to email me, you know, message us on Instagram, check out our website. Um, all the above will work. Awesome. Thank you, Trevor. Yeah, thank you very much. And thank you for Thanks. for actually putting, you know, 
your knowledge and research into a product that will benefit customers and not just jumping on the bandwagon and pumping out another brand. Like it, it means a lot to me and I'm sure to a lot of other people that you're doing the right thing for the right reasons to help the industry. And that's going to take yourself and it's going to take your customers in the industry a lot further than, well, let's put it this way. It's beyond, beyond full spectrum. It's an amazing product guys. And we just like to tell Trevor, thank you again. And thanks for tuning in. Hey, Mike, Bevan, thanks so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, appreciate you guys having me on. Um, love your platform. It's uh, so great that there's gentlemen such as yourselves who are making sure the the good characters in the space, you know, get some attention. So I appreciate that so much. It's been an absolute pleasure and I look forward to connecting again.